Over here next to the filters, we have the styles. Now these are actually layer styles. It will be applying effects onto layers. And it works best if it's something just kind of floating on a layer as opposed to a picture like this, which is just a one big solid photograph. The whole thing is on a layer. I can just show you an example right now. If I go to glass buttons, and we'll do a glass button effect here. Notice it applies the effect to the whole layer. So it really doesn't work well here for this kind of an image. So I have to have something on the, the picture. So let's just make a new layer here. Let's go to layers and I'll go do a new layer. There we go. And I'll bring up our graphics in here. Let's just go to our shapes. Not let's grab just a basic shape of some sort or rather. You know, maybe that star work. I just want to just put the star right there. Put it nice and large. It's easy to see. There we go. Let's go back to our layers again and I'll hide that background layer. Okay, when you have a layer like this then, and usually with some transparency around it, then you can use these layer effects or layer styles. whole bunch of these, of course, different beveled effects. The complex, we played with these a little bit already. These are combinations of numerous effects. Drop shadows, of course. The different glass button effects. Different image effects. If you just hold here for a second, you can get a little pop of little hint there telling you what that actually is. Different inner glow effects. Let's just do one of these. Now if you have your object selected, you can double click and it will then just place that directly onto that object like that. You can overlap these effects or combine effects. Let's do a drop shadow as well. See a little drop shadow hiding in behind there. So we have inner glows and inner shadowing. Notice that's still combining several effects, one on top of another as well. I'm going to undo that one. Not so hot. Outer glowing effects. Different patterns or patterning in here. Different photographic filters. A blue tone, orange gradient, red tone, purple tone, and so forth. Different strokes. These will outline your image. There's a black stroke at 20 pixels. Ghosted and show visibility settings. Some more fancy chrome settings in here. And the neon settings. Plastic. And then you can show everything. Now some of these will overwrite other things. It depends upon how the effect is applied, whether or not this will override the current effect. For instance, the chrome effect puts in this patterning. Notice that we still retain that yellow color in there. We've gained the patterning from the chrome effect. So they will tend to overlap. So there you go. Those are your different styles. Listen here, we do have our little style settings box or button now. That does come up. And that allows me to come in here and adjust the different settings. I have a drop shadow in here, which we did. It's a little tight in, so we can come in and I can pull that drop shadow a little bit away, make it a little easier to see. There we go. And adjust the opacity of that. We have an inner glow. It's kind of this light yellow thing. You can see it right in there. So you have a lot of, you know, a nice amount of or degree of adjustment in here on these things. And down below here, we're also doing a stroke, of course. That's our outer, outer line stroke right there. We can change that color of the stroke. Click on that. And let's do it red. There we go. I can put a bevel in here as well. So, you know, once you come in and once you have it started, you can do a lot with these things. And there we go. So, again, that's the styles and they're going to work best on things that are inside of a layer but aren't filling the whole layer up like our picture did.